Over its 124-year history of crafting motorcycles, Royal Enfield hasn't placed a strong emphasis on change. Since establishing its Chennai plan in India in 1956, the company's models have effectively served the Indian market and gained appreciation in Europe and the US. Despite substantial growth, marked by developments like the 2008 unit construction engine, UC, and subsequent engines like the 350 cubic centimeters J platform, 411 cubic centimeters L platform, and 650 cubic centimeters P platform, Royal Enfield's air-cooled singles and parallel twins have retained connections to their heritage. However, the 2024 Himalayan represents a departure from tradition, standing out as the most revolutionary motorcycle the company has ever produced. It features a modern engine and electronics package coupled with a more capable chassis. Remarkably, not a single part of the new Himalayan shares commonality with the model that debuted in 2016. The decision to equip the Himalayan with this groundbreaking engine aligns with its global success. Since its US debut in 2016 at an astonishingly low price of $4,499, now $5,449, the Himalayan has become a popular choice. Offering an appealing blend of style and satisfaction at a price significantly lower than many ADV segment motorcycles. Recognizing the need to evolve while preserving the character that defines its lineup, Royal Enfield has crafted a fully modern motorcycle. At the global press launch in Manali, India, amid the Himalayas, we had the opportunity to explore the Himalayan and engage with the development team. Our focus was on two key questions. Is this the best value in adventure motorcycling? And is it genuinely an ADV-capable machine? The star of the show is undoubtedly the new Sherpa 450 engine. Representing Royal Enfield's most significant leap in over half a century, this liquid-cooled engine addresses modern emission standards and enhances competitiveness on the global stage. Boasting a 452 cubic centimeters displacement, the engine features an 84.0 by 81.5 mm bore and stroke, a forged piston in an aluminum cylinder with nickel coating, and 11.5 to 1 compression ratio. A four-valve head with overhead cams, efficient intake tracts, and a 42 mm throttle body with ride-by-wire control highlight its advanced features. The semi-dry sump design handles lubrication, while a wet, Multi-plate clutch with slip and assist functionality connects to a six-speed transmission and chain final drive. The objectives were to enhance the engine's performance for both highway cruising and overtaking maneuvers, necessitating a significant increase in power. The peak power has seen a remarkable surge, soaring by 65% in comparison to the 411 cubic centimeters air-cooled engine featured in the previous model. Additionally, torque has experienced a 25% boost. The claimed power now stands at 39.6 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, accompanied by 29.5 pound FT of peak torque, manifesting at 5,500 RPM. Unlike a 450 cubic centimeters motocross engine designed for optimal top end performance, the Sherpa prioritizes delivering broad torque across the entire rev range ensuring practical usability both on and off-road. The revamped engine not only provides substantially more power but does so in a bike that is a noteworthy 10 pounds lighter, resulting in a significantly enhanced riding experience. 2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan Chassis Beyond the substantial engine improvements, the chassis harmoniously complements the powertrain. This is unsurprising given that Royal Enfield acquired Harris Performance in 2015. A renowned chassis specialist with a rich history of designing and constructing racing machines for the 500 cubic centimeters Grand Prix and World Superbike classes. The company played a pivotal role in developing RE Sporty Continental GT. The new Himalayan boasts a twin spar, tubular steel frame, and an aluminum swing arm. Up front, a 43 mm inverted Showa SFEF fork with 7.9 inches of travel replaces the previous 41 mm right side up unit. At the rear, a Showa Monoshock with preload adjustability and an identical 7.9 inches of travel, compared to the original Himalayan's 7.1 inches, provides stability. Wheel sizes measure 21 inches front and 17 inches rear, equipped with 90 slash 90 dash 21 front and 140 slash 80 dash 17 rear tires. 
while our test bikes utilize traditional tubed aluminum spoked rims. Tubeless cross-spoke wheels will be available as an option. Key dimensions include 9 inches of ground clearance, up almost half an inch, and a 59.4-inch wheelbase, a 1.4-inch increase. Approximately an inch shorter than a Kawasaki KLR650 and about 2.5 inches longer than Honda's CB500X. Front-end geometry numbers measure 26.5 degrees of rake with 5.0 inches of trail, ensuring stability. Raking is handled by Bybri, a lower-spec Indian market brand owned by Brembo, featuring a 320mm front disc with a twin-piston traditionally mounted caliper and braided steel lines. At the rear is a single-piston caliper and 270mm disc. The Himalayan is equipped with standard dual-channel ABS, with the option to deactivate it at the rear. A critical consideration for potential Himalayan buyers and adventure bike enthusiasts in general is seat height. Two seat options are available, the standard and an optional low. Each seat offers two easily adjustable height options, with the standard ranging from 32.5 to 33.3 inches and the low from 31.7 to 32.5 inches. The bike's available payload capacity is 436 pounds, providing a clear indication of how much gear you can load onto the Himalayan. Exploring the electronic features of the 2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan reveals the bike's significant modernization compared to its predecessor. Now equipped with ride-by-wire throttle control, the motorcycle introduces various ride modes, offering four combinations, performance slash ABS on, performance slash ABS off, eco slash ABS on, and eco slash ABS off. It's worth noting that these modes affect power delivery rather than the output. Switching between modes requires a stop, as it can't be done on the fly. Riders need to select their preferred option when starting the bike, especially if transitioning between asphalt and dirt and desiring to disable the rear ABS. Access to the modes and other electronic features is facilitated through the all-new Tripper dashboard. This circular 4-inch full-color TFT display provides smartphone connectivity, media controls, and comprehensive map navigation powered by Google. The dashboard allows riders to customize multiple views, presenting crucial information according to their preferences. The navigation system offers a choice between a full map view or simple directional arrows. Notably, the dashboard includes a USB-C charging point, and the bike features full LED lighting, with the rear turn indicators serving dual functions as brake lights. Ride Experience Despite the considerable distance between Colorado and India, the Himalayas and the Himachal Pradesh region bear a striking resemblance to the author's home state. While the on-road chaos of tuk-tuks, trucks, cows, horses, goats, and dogs in India may contrast with the orderliness of Colorado roads, the landscape felt oddly familiar. Before embarking on a two-day journey with the new Himalayan, we familiarized ourselves with the bike and workshops organized by Royal Enfield near our hotel in Manali. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.